Ships were vital to Tasmania. It was not until the middle of the 1800s that an all-weather road was constructed to Launceston and other outlying areas remained without road links to Hobart for even longer. Shipbuilding, therefore, was an important industry. Slipyards were built to handle repairs as well as for the construction of new boats. The slipyard on the Domain, in use since the 1830s, was an important addition to the maritime facilities in Hobart. The slipyard, still in use today, was kept particularly busy in the days when sailing ships were common and the port thriving. This picture shows a ship called the Amelia J on the slip, so you can see that quite large vessels could use these facilities close to the city. At one time, many of the carpenters and shipbuilders lived close by. Whaling was an important industry in Hobart in the 1800s. This picture shows a ship called the Helen being relaunched from the slip in about 1900. In 1896, she had been the last Tasmanian ship to sail in search of the diminishing number of whales in the Southern Ocean. In the 1920s, a Norwegian fleet of whaling ships based themselves in the city, using the slipyard for repairs. This picture shows another whaling boat, the Waterwitch, lying on her side near the slip. 